If you've been struggling to grow your hair or you are simply looking for ways to maximize your hair growth rate, you are lucky you found me because in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you three ways you can incorporate aloe vera in your hair growth regimen. So without much further ado, let's jump right into the video. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Mark 11, 24, the NIV version. Before I show you the different ways that you can use aloe vera to grow your hair, there is one thing we have to do. This is not a step that you miss because if you miss this step, you are going to be itching like there are invisible mosquitoes kissing your scalp and your skin. We have to remove the poison in aloe vera, also known as latex, also known as aloe or whatever you call it. This substance is very toxic to our skin and our hair. It causes a lot of itchiness and that is why a lot of people think that they are allergic to aloe vera. I put it to you that sometimes they may not be extracting the yellowish liquid first before they use aloe vera. To remove this toxin, all you have to do is cut up the aloe vera into small pieces. I feel like the more surface area there is, the easier it is to remove the poison. And then you put it inside the water for at least 30 minutes. Some people leave it overnight. I highly recommend that you do that, especially if you are highly allergic to aloe vera. It's not that you're allergic to aloe vera, you're allergic to the latex in aloe vera, if you get. But some people can be actually allergic. Please listen to your doctor, whatever your doctor tells you is the truth, okay? You see the yellowish liquid, yeah, that's what we want can repeat this process once more until the water is clear for me soaking it inside the water for 30 minutes does the job i don't age or have any reaction the first way i use aloe vera to grow my hair is as a hair and scalp treatment and to make this you know recipe all you have to do is peel the aloe vera and scrape off the gel the the inside of it don't worry, we are not going to throw away the peel. I am a very resourceful babe. And later in the video, I'm going to show you how to make something out of it. It may look like trash. It may look like it belongs in the garbage. But I promise you, it's going to be very, very useful later in this video. After I scrape out the gel, I'm going to be getting ready to blend this you know, goodness. A lot of people use aloe vera to detangle their hair. I'm not really a fan because... I found a herb that is better at doing that and I like to stick to the same thing. I don't even like trying new food. I use aloe vera for the benefits, not the slip. I will be using my emulsion blender to blend everything together. The reason why I'm not using a regular blender is because we are always using it to blend pepe. We use it to blend onions, we use it to blend rodo, we use it to blend tomatoes and bell pepper. There is just something about an African woman's blender that no matter what you put inside it, it's going to be tasting like pepper and onions. I don't know. I don't even use my blender anymore to blend smoothie. If I want to drink smoothie, I'll just eat the fruit. After blending the aloe vera, make sure to sieve the mixture or else the pulp will be in your hair and they will start the whole aloe vera garden in your scalp and it will never ever leave i'm speaking from experience don't be impatient when it comes to diys you got to follow all the steps because if you just blend it in and now you go and pour it on your scalp and your hair is giving dandruff llc don't come and blame me you make sure to extract the pulp what we want is the liquid we don't want the pulp put the pulp aside also because we're going to be using it alongside the pills later in the video transfer the liquid into an applicator bottle so that you can easily access your scalp when you're applying it and in terms of storage try to use this within 24 hours and if you are not using it immediately after you make it keep it inside the refrigerator for those 24 hours yes i wore color green to match the color of aloe vera you are welcome i like to pay attention to the details i'm going to show you how i apply this treatment to my hair i'm starting off on freshly detangled hair and slightly clean hair and scalp like my hair is not that dirty you don't have to shampoo your hair to get the benefits of this treatment you can honestly go into the shower run some water through your strands just to lift up the dirt and it should work just fine okay but if you are team i did not wash my hair for six months Please wash your hair first before you do this. This treatment cannot work. It cannot work. Your hair is too dirty. When you apply the treatment to your hair, make sure that you are focusing on your scalp and the ends of your hair. Those are the very fragile and important parts of your hair strand. Hair growth begins at the scalp and the ends of your hair are the weakest. Also make sure to apply this in sections. You want to thoroughly coat your entire head of hair. And just twist it up after and repeat this process all over. 
Aloe vera is my first love when it comes to hair growth. It was the very first plant that I incorporated into my regimen when I started my hair growth journey. And I noticed that my hair had taken a pause in life and did not want to grow, did not want to shit. It was giving very much a packed car. So aloe vera was the first plant I picked up. The crazy thing about aloe vera is that it's not something that was new to me. We used to have it in my backyard in Nigeria. My mom used to make a herbal mixture with it for us to drink and to cure us of jedi jedi or any stomach issues. By the way, aloe vera is very, very bitter. It is so bitter that if you taste it, you can feel it in the back of your neck. If you even have a child that likes to suck their thumb, put aloe vera on it. I kid you not, they will receive deliverance. That habit will break by fire by force. There are so many benefits of using aloe vera. But the one thing that caught my eye a few years ago is the fact that aloe vera contains something called proteolytic enzymes. These enzymes basically break down the protein bonds between the dead skin cells and the epidermis, which is the upper layer of the skin. Something a lot of us forget is that scalp is skin. And we often forget the importance of removing the dead skin cells on our scalp, unclogging the pores and just allowing our scalp to breathe. There's a lot of things that you use on your face that can actually be used on your scalp. Just the way you use aloe vera for clear skin, yes, you can use the same thing for hair growth. Removing the dead skin cells on your scalp will allow for a healthy environment for hair growth. Hashtag good readings to bad rubbish. Before I applied this to my hair, I actually left the mixture inside the fridge for about one hour and applying it to my scalp was such an amazing experience. It was very, very soothing. I always do this routine whenever I feel like my scalp needs an extra TLC. You know, my scalp has been through a lot. I'm experiencing maybe dandruff, some scalp irritations, and my scalp just feels off. This always resets it back to normal. This process can be very messy, so it is better to do it in the shower. I'm doing it outside of the shower because i just hate recording in the bathroom it's always a fight between me and my foggy camera leave this on for about 30 minutes and then shampoo it out the second way i use aloe vera to grow my hair is as a hair growth butter to make this you are going to start off with a lightweight oil i know some people do not like coconut oil you can use olive oil you can use grapeseed oil anything that is shy liquid and then i'm going to pour in the pulp and the um the pills that we put aside earlier we're just going to pour everything in this is one of the best ways to repurpose the peels of aloe vera after we let the peels to fry for a little bit we're going to cut up some shea butter and pour it inside the mixture my mom actually got me this shea butter from nigeria it is real shea butter not the ones that we'll be getting from the beauty supply store that is just butter without the shea this is original and i highly recommend that you use authentic shea butter that makes a whole lot of difference friends some alternatives to shea butter are mango butter you can use cocoa butter but make sure to add a lot more liquid oils if you're going to use cocoa butter because that stuff is very very rock solid allow the mixture to fry very very well you know even after the shea butter is fully melted allow it to fry very well i say fry like plantain like you're trying to burn plantain because you don't want any liquids to remain that can be very dangerous and that can lead to fungi mold and bacteria growing Fry it on low heat also so that you are not denaturing the nutrients in this hair butter. To make the butter actually solidify, I'm going to keep it inside the freezer for about, I'm going to say two hours. To be honest, my mind wasn't really on it. I was watching a movie downstairs. So I was like, I'm going to go upstairs when the movie is over. And the movie took about two hours. I'm going to add a few drops of my herbal egg growth oil. I'm sorry that you can't really see the label. I will link it down below. And I add this to make this mixture a little bit more buttery instead of being rough solid and i'm also going to add a little bit of eucalyptus oil for fragrance if you have vitamin e oil on hand you can also add it to prolong the shelf life of this product i'm going to use my handheld mixer to whip up this butter because it's just going to double in size it's going to make it more fluffy and it's going to allow it to melt into my hair a lot more easily a lot of reasons why people shy away from butters is because it can be a little bit heavy on the hair that's why i recommended you to 
add a lightweight oil in the beginning and for you to whip it up that makes a whole lot of difference because it's just going to be so airy and your hair is going to absorb it quicker than if you were just to put straight shea butter without any alter alterations to it it's just going to sit on your hair and be staring at you i'm going to scrape the butter into a jar if you have a container that is dark and it is glass i recommend you use that instead of the plastic one that i'm using because that is going to prolong the shelf life of this product this butter is not only good for the hair you can also use it on your skin especially in the winter when we are most prone to ashy knees please let's be guided before i show you how i use the aloe vera butter in my hair i wanted to show you the third way that i incorporate aloe vera in my hair growth regimen and that is by simply going to shop right buying this aloe vera juice and pouring it inside a spray bottle to spray all over my hair this is actually the easiest way to incorporate it you can use it as a leave-in spray that is my favorite thing about this i wanted to show you guys how i use the aloe vera juice and the hair butter before i installed these braids that wash day was very very hectic and i was in a rush to my friend's wedding i did not have the time to record i was running around hell that like a lost rat so please but don't worry i can still show you on this mcmill braid spray my hair first is always the first step in my moisturizing routine the reason why your hair is still crusty dusty and dry after you finish your moisturizing routines because you're not spraying your hair first with a water-based product like aloe vera juice aloe vera is also a natural humectant which means that it's going to be drawing moisture from the air into your hair it's going to be literally stealing the moisture from outside and putting it into your hair that is something we need because our hair tends to dry out very very fast i'm going to be using the aloe vera butter right after i spray my hair i have a protective style installed if you don't have a protective style installed make sure to use a leave-in conditioner first before this step this butter made my hair so soft i'm talking about so succulent like like cloud especially when i was installing the braids my hair felt very very soft in winter i tend to lean more towards butters for sealing in the moisture into my hair i still use oils on my scalp don't worry butters are a lot more stronger at sealing in the moisture in winter season because it is always rough out there there's always a moisture teeth looking for whose hair to devour i like to do this routine in the morning right before i shower because as i am showering the heat is activating the aloe vera in my hair aloe vera is one thing that has been very consistent on my hair growth journey almost every single product that i use on my hair be it the shampoo be it deep conditioner or anything like that they contain a great amount of aloe vera i'm actually going to link everything i use in my hair growth regimen down below in the description box so make sure to check it out because there might be a discount code right next to it saying hello use me that is all i have for you today thank you so much for watching today's video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also make sure to turn on the notification bell so that when next i post you'll be the first person to know about it i love you and jesus loves you too bye riches